Hey guys, it's Amin Dillon and this is Food Diaries. Now this is the show where I show you guys some of my favorite recipes to make right at home and in today's video, I'm gonna be making for you healthy whole wheat blueberry muffins. Now let me give you the backstory on this. I love blueberries and I love blueberry muffins, so I have no idea why it took me so long to make these blueberry muffins at home. I came across the recipe a little while ago and I tried it out at home, made a little tweaks to it because you know, I like to kind of add my own little taste to it. I like to reduce the sugar and kind of make it as filling as possible. And I'm so happy with the way this recipe is. I think it's so, so delicious. It's healthy and it helps fill you up in between those big meal times right uh, so this recipe takes a maximum of 20 minutes to make we're gonna be making 12 muffins today and uh, most importantly we're gonna be using blueberries which is so so awesome because they are honestly so tasty um, now if you're watching this and blueberries are still in your season fresh blueberries are awesome if they're not don't worry just pick up a bag of frozen blueberries and you're good to go so let me just quickly show you I've already made them I made a little batch here this is what it looks like uh, and they smell so so good by the way by the way after you make these your entire house is gonna smell so good okay so let's get started let's bake healthy whole wheat blueberry muffins here we go ready we're going to get our muffin tray ready so I've got my muffin tray out here I've got my little muffin liners here and before we pour the mixture inside what we're gonna try out is we're actually gonna grease very very lightly the inside of the liner now I've never done that before but someone had actually given me this idea and I'm gonna test it out because I think it'll be a great way to kind of help the muffin to slide out so that the majority of it isn't getting stuck to the actual liner so let's try it out today in this video and see how it turns out. Okay, so the muffins are done and I ended up actually baking these muffins for about 19 minutes before I could see that they were ready. Now remember, the best way to figure out if your muffins are good to go is to insert a dry toothpick in each of them. I do each of them. I know sometimes people just do some of them. I like to make sure each one is done. And if you can pull out your toothpick and it's dry, that means you're good to go. Okay, so basically let the muffins cool down for about five minutes. And then I took them out and I've just put them on this tray right here. And let me just pull this out here for you guys so you can see it. So, so good. Ooh. There's a blueberry on the bottom. Oh, it's so good. By the way, it smells so, so good. Mm, I really love blueberries. You can really smell them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sample. So let's open this up. Let's open this up. Oh, okay. So it's still a little bit warm which I know I should let it cool, but I really just want to taste this for you guys. So here we go. Mmm. Oh yeah. It's perfect. 19 minutes was exactly what I need. So it's see, you can see the steam coming up there. It is just fresh out of the oven. Nothing beats that. 
and those blueberries, oh my gosh. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Can I just say, even though I know I should not be eating with my mouth full, eat these warm. If you end up, mm, big bite. If you end up eating these a little bit later and they've kind of cooled down, um, I would say just heat them up in the microwave for a couple seconds. Honestly, blueberry muffins are the best when they're warm. So, so good. Now another option for you guys is to, um, before you put them into the oven, we could have sprinkled some sugar on top or some cinnamon. I chose not to because I thought the blueberries would sweeten them enough and I'm totally right. I'm really glad I didn't put additional sugar on top. It tastes really great this way and it keeps your sugar intake low, right? Which is what is really important to me. So there you guys go. Let me just take one more bite for the road. Should we say that? Or just because I'm really, really hungry? Mm. Mm. So good. Okay, so let me put that blueberry muffin away. I'm sure you guys don't want to watch me pretty much eating this entire tray of muffins for this entire video. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Um, let me know if you make it at home. Again, it's whole wheat blueberry muffins. I think this is a great muffin to make with like back to school now. And especially with the holiday season coming up. You know what? Everyone's on the go. There's lots to do. And it's not always like you're going to be able to eat. So I think this is a nice little treat that you can put in a Ziploc bag. Throw it in your purse, throw it in your bag. It's a nice little snack that you can have. And it, most importantly, it's healthy. Hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Do try it at home and let me know what you think. If you want to see more videos, make sure to subscribe to my official YouTube channel. I'm going to put the link on the screen there. So make sure I click it. Check out my past videos as well. I've got lots of baking videos, makeup videos, some behind the scenes, all sorts of stuff. So check that out. And of course, don't forget to check out my official blog for lots more content, including lots of celebrity gossip. Well, that's the end of this video. Thanks again for watching, guys, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye for now.